Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about pack setting up packet server for Paga Robotic. So packet server is basically part of uh, Paga Robotic runtime uh, installation packets uh, that you might have downloaded from the Paga Robotic uh, download catalog page. So that should be a zip file. Just unzip the runtime folder. So once you unzip the Paga Robotic Runtime folder, you will find there are certain EXEs, which is OpenSpan Runtime Enterprise Setup.exe. So that file is basically used to install the Paga Robotic Runtime. But at the same folder, you will also find some EXEs called uh, the zip file, another zip file, which is like Robotic Automation Package Server. So let's uh, copy that and have it outside so we'll just uh, copy the packet server exe uh, the, the, the zip file and I'll just create another folder here server so I'll just uh, paste the copied zip file here now unzip the packet server Once you're done, so first we need to install the packet server. So you can use .exe and right click run as administrator. Run anyway. So it's a fairly simple installation. Just click on the next and you can keep the folder or the download or the installation location as default and click on the next click on install So once you are done installation, just click on the finish and you are ready uh, with packet server. So now next step, we need to change the package path. So basically the packages that we deploy from our robotic uh, studio that would be stored in one of the file or uh, file system, which is a kind of a folder. So let's create first a folder where we want to store all of our packages. So go to PC, go to C drive or any of the drive and create a folder. Pega package. So this is the folder where we are going to store all of our packages. Now to change this path, we need to go to the again C drive, the program file, and there we need to locate the Paga Robotic Automation. So press P. So there we go, the Paga Robotic Automation. Then there we will find a folder called Package Server. So go to the packet server. So now let's go to each folder one by one. In the packet server, we need to locate a JSON file which is uh, named with like app setting.json. So as we can see, there are three JSON files. So we'll just update the app setting.json. So I'll just right click and add it. There we go. So here we can see the root path 
to store the packages so we'll change it to the folder that we have created to store the packages so i'll just copy the path go back to app setting.json file and change this path at the same time we also need to make sure that these single slash we need to replace with the double slash and just save it once you are done saving you can close now we are done with changing the folder path where we are going to store all of our packages now we'll start the package server exe so to start the package server exe you can go to the cmd and just change the directory to the this packet server folder so i'm going to copy the path and run change change directory and paste the path hit enter so now the directory has been changed now we need to run the another command to run the packet server exe so just type package server it's exe then give a space and type two dashes then url s then in the double quote we need to specify on which port this package server should be available so we'll type http colon since i have the package server on the same machine so i'll just have the local host uh, and uh, if you're running it on a different machine then you should be having the ip address of that machine so i'm not going to use the ip address i'll just have the local host a local host and then the port and usually we run it on uh, our packet server we usually run it on 5000 port so i'll just mention 5000 and double quote once we hit it hit the enter the packet server would start on local host 5000 port so let me hit the enter and there we go so we can see starting packet server and it should it it has started uh, successfully on local host 5000 port now let's go to the another folder which is here and just go to the another folder which is server status in the server status we also need to go to the app setting.json file and again edit it into your notepad plus plus or your uh, simple notepad also you can add it and just change this local host to the ip address where you are running your packet server so in my case i'm just running it on the local host so i don't need to change anything but in your case if you're running it on the uh, windows server or uh, windows machine then you need to just change that windows server or the windows machines ip address here so once you are done making the changes you can close this file and then go to cmd go to cmd again we need to change to the local folder and paste the path hit enter once we are in the local folder then type server status 
and then exc, then a space, then minus signs, and URL as in double quote, we need to type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Then since I'm running uh, uh, the status server exe as well on the local server or uh, the local host. So I'll just type local host and the port which is I'm going to use 8080. So I'll just oh we need to change the port since our 8080 port is being used by Pega uh, Pega PRPC. So I'll just change it to 5050. And I'll hit enter. So once you hit enter, it says started listening. So let's go to the URL and uh, go to the any of your browser and just check if your packet server is running or not. So it's local host and then change the port to 5050 so there we go so we can see at the uh, local host 505 five, uh, the packet server is running and you can see there is no package as of now since we haven't published anything and we can see the further details here it says running so this is how you can set up your packet server uh, that's it in this tutorial in the next tutorial we would be using this packet server with our uh, Paga robot manager thanks for watching see you in next tutorial have a good day